Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanil, and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more videos. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. All right, you guys, of course, we all know the coronavirus is running rampant on the universe. Oh my God. Um, I just hope everybody is out there washing their hands and covering your mouth when you cough and sneeze. Things that you should do all the time even when there's not a virus attacking the world, right? Right. Well, I was raised washing my hands and covering my mouth when I cough and sneeze. I mean, that just seems like the thing to do. And now all of a sudden it's a trend to wash your hands. You guys, come on, that's crazy. Please tell me that you're out there washing your hands. Anyway, um, also today's Friday the 13th. Ooh, spooky and naughty. Therefore, I have updated my Patreon account and I created a little something fun and a little bit naughty for Friday the 13th. If you have not checked out my Patreon, the link is in the description box below, so go ahead and check it out. Also, you guys know I'm playing around on TikTok, just acting so crazy, just having fun. And I know it's for younger people and a lot of older people are like, Tanil, I cannot figure out this whole TikTok thing. You guys, it took me forever to figure it out. But anyway, I'm a little addicted to it. So um, if you want to follow me, that link is also in the description box below as well as my Instagram link. You guys go ahead and follow me. Okay. Anyway, so because the whole coronavirus thing is uh, got everybody all freaked out or may not have some people freaked out. I'm kind of in between. I really don't know. I just don't want to get sick. I was sick uh, a couple of times already like uh, in December and in January. Um, and I just don't want to get sick. So I don't want anybody Corona coughing on me. Anyway, so this is coronavirus misinformation and toilet paper panic. What is up with the toilet paper? You guys, I went in Walmart last night and in HEB, which is a local store here in Texas. There's no toilet paper anywhere. But luckily for me, I already have a lot of toilet paper. So I'm not really worried about it. But still, what is up with all of the toilet paper being gone? That doesn't make sense. But nobody's buying food, but they're buying toilet paper. I'm so confused. Anyway, you guys, I have Trevor Noah's clip, so let's go ahead and check it out. Normally, we would catch up on all of the headlines from around the world. You know, maybe we'd talk about Harvey Weinstein getting 23 years in prison. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could talk that. about the Supreme Court giving President Trump a victory on immigration. But today, there's only one story the entire world is talking about, the coronavirus, coronavirus. a.k.a. COVID-19, a.k.a. mumbo number death. <laughs> <laughs> it's now in 110 countries with over 122,000 confirmed cases, and it looks like it's only getting worse. Yikes. The World Health Organization today officially designating coronavirus as a global pandemic. Congress's in-house doctor told Capitol Hill staffers at a closed-door meeting this week that, that he expects 75 to 150 million people in the United States to contract the coronavirus. New Yikes. tests led by the U.S. government scientists show the virus can live in the air for several hours and on some surfaces oh for up God. to three days. Oh, my God. Oh, Didn't okay. That. That's a lot of information, so let's try and break it all down. First, the World, World Health Organization has officially just declared coronavirus a global pandemic, which, yes, is scary for us humans, but from Corona's perspective, it's pretty cool. Yeah? <laughs> no, because we're a virus. This is like going platinum, you know? It's, it's a big day. Started from the Wuhan, now we're here. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool for Corona. And yes, I'm saying that because I hope if I suck up to Corona, it'll leave me alone. Right? I, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm gonna try it. Now, the second piece of information is a little more disconcerting. Congress's in-house doctor says up to 150 million people in the United States could end up getting Corona. That's a lot. Yeah, that is half the country. And then the other half won't get it because they're clearly losers who don't have friends. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be like, like, how do you not have corona? Has nobody touched you? I'd rather be dead. <laughs> and the third point mo uh, might be the most scary. Uh, we're learning that this coronavirus can stay on some surfaces for up to three days. That's yeah. kind of scary. Although in New York, it doesn't stay as long because it can't afford the rent. That's the good news. <laughs> the housing crisis is real. Now, on some surfaces like cardboard, apparently corona can only survive for a day if it's cardboard. But then on harder surfaces like glass, it can survive for much longer. So like your cell phone, that could be a problem. Mm. Yeah. My advice, clear your browsing history. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might still get corona, but at least the doctors won't see all the freaky shit you've been searching on your phone. <laughs> your emergency can't wait, what the hell? 
And look, guys, I know we're all it's scared, stupid. but it's important to keep a clear head. Panic is not going to help anything. Right. right. We're still learning about this. We're still learning about the mortality rate. And panic is not helping, because right now, some people are letting their panic make them dumb as shit. The impact of the coronavirus being felt across the country now affecting everything from air travel to schools to what's on store shelves or what's not on store shelves. In some cases, some retailers seeing a run on many of the basics. Well, just a crazy scene at a grocery store where oh toilet paper God. has been in high this demand. So yeah, surveillance crazy. video shows a stampede of customers clearing the shelves. See, Fights this? over toilet paper breaking out in grocery stores no. as shelves run empty. People. What are you doing? What is going on? I really on? don't understand what people are doing. You I do not need to panic over toilet paper. <laughs> Water, I would understand, right? Food, right. medicine, yes. But you can survive without toilet paper. <laughs> don't forget, you're in a bathroom. Oh, how will I clean my butt in this room with a shower? <laughs> I feel like people in first world countries don't know what to panic about. That is so true. Toilet paper? Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god. Like what, what's next? Are people just gonna be running around Walmart like, ah, oh, where's the car wax? Oh. <laughs> and maybe it's because it's because where I grew up, there were times when we didn't have toilet paper. Honestly, when I was a kid, we didn't have toilet paper. We always made a plan. Right? You can use newspaper, you just rub it together. This is a true thing, right? You can use paper towels. Hell, everyone in America has a dog. Push comes to oh, shove, you wipe your ass in the dog. Yeah, freckles, <laughs> get out here! <laughs> You're like, I'd rather use my hands, Trevor. Look, man, just avoid panicking. Right. Because if you panic, you stop that thinking so clearly. That's so true. And if you're not thinking clearly, then you'll start to believe anything that you hear. And there is a lot of bad information that is out there. Well, the spread of the coronavirus, it's also led to a lot of spread of misinformation. There are more rumors going around on social media about how to avoid the coronavirus. Eating garlic, drinking bleach, snorting cocaine, <laughs> yes, and masturbation are no. not miracle cures for coronavirus. Yes. Please tell me that's Drinking not bleach, real. snorting really cocaine, and masturbating is not the way to I cure really corona. I really hope that's not going on. It's the way to kick off the most rock and roll party of your life. That's what that is. Oh my God. That's what that is. <laughs> I forgot how funny he was. And I don't understand how anyone even falls for any of that. None of those things gets rid of the coronavirus. Right? Bleach gets rid of stains. You can't drink it. It's not gonna help you. Garlic gets rid of vampires, okay? <laughs> Cocaine gets rid of your money. That's it. <laughs> Like, in a way, the only thing that makes sense is masturbating, okay? <laughs> yeah, it won't cure you, but if you stay in and you do that all day, you'll probably have less chance of catching the virus. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, if the CDC really wants people to self-quarantine, forget the Purell, they should just be oh handing out lotion. God. Here you go, stay <laughs> home and uh, social distance yourself. You know what I mean. Oh my God, too funny. I totally forgot how funny Trevor Noah is. I remember when he first took over The Daily Show and I watched one of his stand-ups and I just thought he was so funny. Like I said, I wanted to watch this because of the whole coronavirus craze that's going on. And yes, there are so many crazy things that people are saying about it. I mean, I've literally read like a hundred different things of like how you can catch it, um, whether it was airborne or whether it, how long it lived on surfaces and things like that. I mean, like I said, I don't know. I'm not really panicking. I just don't want to catch it. Um, I just hope that eventually this just kind of goes away like Ebola and like the bird flu and all the other diseases and viruses that have um, made everybody freak out. But I think this is this one is crazier than Ebola because I can't remember people going this crazy uh, when the whole Ebola thing was going on. But yeah, you guys, really? Toilet paper? I am not understanding it. It's insane. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Leave me your comments in the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed my reaction, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And again, you guys, stay safe. Keep your hands clean. Don't cough on other people. Guys, I love you all so much. Have a very happy and safe weekend and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye God, cost my life for profit never that high too high to be honest gold mine all of my blood my whole mind harmonized
with the cosmic. I get signs from the Godzilla often. I cause the vibe so hard, keep caution. I've been had faith in the path.